least favorite part about Sorted is a part to make friends, social life, parties. Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to your back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you're not already, you should definitely subscribe down below. So today I'm going to switch it up from the vlogs a little bit and I'm going to be doing a college Q&A everything that you need to know about college and where I went to school at the University of Scranton. If you don't know, I just graduated from the University of Scranton in May. I was there for four years studying psychology with minors in history and philosophy. The University of Scranton is like a pretty small school, I'd say. I think there's about like 5,000 total. I knew that I wanted a small school, but I just like the community of a small school and the feel of it and I didn't really want big classes. Just trying to give you like an overview of where I went to school and I'm so sad to be leaving there. I mean, my boyfriend is staying another year to get his master's, so I will be back visiting. I just started reading, so don't mind that if you can hear the rain. I hope it's not too loud. Anyway, I just graduated from college, so I like to think that I have a lot of knowledge about it. Knowledge, college, see what I did there? So without further ado, let's just get into the questions because I feel like this intro has been long. I put a question sticker on my Instagram and my TikTok. So if you're not following me on there, you should. I'll put them right here and that way you can be part of the next Q&A that I do. So I did like an anonymous question thing so people could ask me questions. I'm gonna start out pretty basic favorite and least favorite part about Scranton. i think my favorite part i don't want to be like cliche with this but i feel like my favorite part was like the people there it's such a good place to meet people like even if you're like any college because you're all kind of experiencing the same thing first year you know you're, this is all your first time going to college you're living in a dorm for the first time maybe you're being away from home for the first time you're in similar classes whatever like it's it forms sort of a sense of community because even as you go into each grade you're all experiencing similar things at the same time also just the people that i met at scranton specifically truly made some of my best friends there my roommate grace who i met freshman year on the facebook group we decided to be roommates we met in person and then we were roommates all four years literally she is one of my best friends my other roommate, Elisa, is also one of my best friends. We've gotten super close, the three of us, and I'm so grateful for not only them, but also people that I met like through my classes, through my major, through different programs, Tommy's friends. Long story short, my favorite part would probably be the people. I'm editing right now, but I just wanted to include that obviously not every single person that I met I become best friends with. I make it sound really optimistic in these clips. You know, I have had some bad experiences with like people and roommates and whatever. So it's not like everything's going to be butterflies and rainbows all the time, but like overall, I've had a good time with the people that I met if that makes sense least favorite part that's hard because like I don't know I don't want to like bash on my school and there's like really off the top of my head not a lot of things that I can think of probably just certain classes I guess that was mostly just because of like the workload and like so obviously you're going to enjoy some classes more than others and like some classes are required sometimes you're not always taking classes that you're like super interested in but even when you're not enjoying the class you do get a better well rounded education. There are some classes that I definitely did not enjoy. I did not love all of my classes that I took there. I'm not going to say any specific class because it's over now and I did it and I survived. I'm here to say that I survived bad classes. I survived a lot of hard work, but we did it. We made it through. So you can also. I don't know if that was even a good answer to this question. Another question is why are you going to grad school for communications if you studied psych in undergrad? So if you don't know, I'm about to start grad school in the fall. I am going to Clark University in Worcester, Mass, which is like central Massachusetts, and I'm getting my master's in communication so it's a two-year program so I'm pretty excited but I did study psychology undergrad if you don't know psychology is 
while it's like one of the most broad fields like you can basically go into anything afterwards it's also pretty narrow because if you want to go into psychology specifically you either have to be like a psychiatrist and go to med school or clinical psychology child psychology school counseling whatever but like that's pretty much all you can do if you want to go into psychology and i don't want to do that so i had to look at other options but communications you know it's about how people communicate obviously psychology is about how people think so if you think about it there are like very connected i think it'll help me obviously you can go into communications without having a psych background knowing how to portray things really all stems from knowing how people think if that makes sense okay this one says, I'm 90% sure I'm going to the University of Scranton. Even though it's a smaller school, is it hard to make friends? How was your freshman year? One of the biggest ways that I made friends freshman year was in my dorm, in my classes. On my dorm floor, it was all girls. And I think there were about like 10 rooms. So like 20 ish girls because two girls per room and a lot of us just left our doors open during the day you could like go in and say hi to other people i also met some people like while i was moving in you know it's like you're all in that same situation like i said before so most of you don't know other people there so that is one of the things like leave your door open don't be afraid to go say hi to other people another way is making friends in your classes especially within your major so like my freshman year intro to psych class was all psych majors and i'm literally still friends with like some of the people that i met in there because we've had classes together for the past four years so a lot of those people you're gonna have classes with so if you're sitting next to someone like maybe there's a group project that you have to do and you could say like oh do you want to like be in a group and then also just like join clubs and activities so i did psychology club i'm very good friends with people that i was on the board with like junior and senior year and then i also did performance music because I played the trombone so I did like concert band and jazz band so I also met people through that so I'd say just like get involved don't be afraid to talk to people and if you're worried just know that I'm about to go through the same thing at Clark because even when I went to Scranton my boyfriend was also going there so I knew him and I knew Grace like somewhat because we had met once before we actually became roommates but at Clark I know absolutely no one for grad school it's a little bit harder because I will not be living on campus I only have one in-person class I have two online classes so it's it's gonna be harder to meet people that way but just know that I will be going through the same thing and I am pretty anxious about it so it'll all work out though I got a few questions about social life parties clubs um if they're like cliques in my experience there weren't really like cliques i mean obviously people had their friend groups but also in college it's a lot more fluid because i mean i had different sort of friend groups like i had tommy's friends and then my friends and then class friends and then you know my roommates friends and whatever so it's a lot more fluid like you can be friends with a lot of people it's not like in high school there's no like fine line as to you can't be friends with this person just because they're part of this or whatever as to like parties in general i am 22 so obviously like i'm of legal age and i guess since i don't go there anymore i can talk about this i mean it's kind of common knowledge i'm not really like a party person Person, to be honest you know i think there's plenty of other ways that you can have fun without alcohol and have some of my like most fun nights that i like really got to know people and whatever was there alcohol involved yeah sure you don't need alcohol let me just say that i am not condoning underage drinking but if you want to go somewhere when you are under 21 do not go to the bars the bars are pretty strict so if you have a fake id most of the time it will not scan and they will not let you in and they will probably confiscate your fake id i would say stick to parties a lot of the off-campus houses have parties most of the time you have to like know people one of your friends has to know someone that's living in the house or knows the person that's throwing the party or whatever there are a lot of like house parties i'd say but i feel like most of the people that go to house parties are under 21 because i think that most of the time when you're over 21 you go to the bars downtown which i personally found more fun it's not even as fun as like when you can go to the bar obviously yes you have to like pay for the alcohol but a lot of times at house parties you have to bring your own alcohol because unless it's a controlled party i would say do not drink anything that they have but a lot of the times they make jungle juice do not drink that unless it is a controlled party or you see everything that's going into it but even then like someone could slip something into it afterwards i don't know if you are going there please 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 
bring your own stuff. You don't know what's in that jungle juice. You don't know if someone slipped something in there. But also the other problem with jungle juice is that there's so much alcohol and you cannot taste it. So it is a really easy way to lose control. So that is my advice on parties. That was very long-winded. If you're over 21 and you're going to the bars, I'd say that is a lot more fun. Like this past year, we only went to bars. There's so many bars downtown and so many restaurants and stuff. So if you're over 21, I would definitely recommend doing that because I think that's more fun than going to house parties. I mean, that's just like my personal preference. I guess this q and ended up being more like Scranton based rather than general college advice. But I feel like a lot of this can be transferred to like literally any college that you're going to. So that is gonna be the end of this video because I feel like I only had a few questions, but I talked so much. If you have other questions about college, maybe I can make a part two to this video. Most of the questions that I got were specifically about Scranton. So that's sort of why this was more like a Scranton based q and But if you have any college questions comment them down below or go to my instagram or tiktok and comment them or dm me or whatever so thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe down below make sure to follow my social medias down below to keep up with my daily life and i will see you in my next video bye